How's it going guys, Ben here with iTech Triad and today we're going to be taking a look at the Lenovo N20P Chromebook. Now I did want to make an unboxing of this but my camera decided it didn't want to record that. So I got about three seconds worth of footage of the box and I'm going to show that to you now. And next let's go back to the machine itself. So we're going to go ahead and open it up and the first thing we have is the keyboard with the screen protector on top of it and we have that really quick boot up time that all Chromebooks are kind of known for. So let's go ahead and take a look at what makes this Chromebook a little different. And first let's look at the hardware on the outside. On the right side we have a charging port, a USB 3.0 port, a mini HDMI port which is a little different, I've never actually seen that on a Chromebook, and also the 3.5mm headphone jack. On the opposite side we have a USB 2.0 port, the power button, which I'll show you why that's a little different in a little bit and also an SD card slot. Now again, that power button is on the outside, which is very different. Most Chromebooks normally have these on the inside on the keyboard, but we'll talk about why that's a little different in a little bit. Now we have an 11.6 inch 1366 by 768 touchscreen display on this Chromebook. And just like most Chromebook displays, it's definitely not the best, but it will get the job done. Now here's why the Lenovo N20P is different it's almost a convertible. You can take it and you can bend the display back most of the way and then rest it on the keyboard and just use it touch only. And that's really what makes it different from most other Chromebooks. Most Chromebooks are like a regular laptop. And that's not a bad thing, but this one definitely is different for that reason. And Chrome OS has some cool little features that will help you take advantage of this very different hardware. So, you, of course, you have an on-screen keyboard, you have some extra gestures, a task switching menu, and it's just, it, it very takes advantage of it very well. And that's why the power button's on the outside, is that way you can still turn it off when you're using it in this mode. So I'll be using the Lenovo N20P for the next couple of weeks as my daily Chromebook, and, well, for my daily usage, a Chromebook is kind of perfect. Because mainly I will check Google+, I will be writing on our website, and that's about it for when I'm using a computer other than when I'm editing video. So uh, if you guys have any questions about the Lenovo N20P, please leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to answer that in the full review coming soon. Subscribe to the channel so you can catch that and follow us on our social networks so you can catch the written review when it is live. Thanks for watching this video guys and we'll catch you in the next one.